I'm Marco Purini and I'm the coffee specialist for Accademia del Caffè Espresso. Today we're going to talk about roasting coffees. So how do we get to the coffee that we all know? So this kind of coffee. Coffee is a seed, so in nature it's been green as this one. And during the roasting process, we have different stages to get to the final result. So starting from this for the green one, we're gonna get little yellowish before that and the coffee starts smelling like toasted bread. Then going on, we're gonna get to a cinnamon color, then light roast, and then if we keep roasting, we get to this product, the super oily and dark. Initially, we're gonna get dry the coffee beans. So all the moisture inside the coffee beans just get out. During this process, the water inside the coffee beans just starts to evaporate. So as we keep roasting, the coffee will increase the volume of it and of course it's gonna decrease the weight of it. The second phase of roasting is the, it's called Maillard reactions. So it, this means that all the sugars contained in the coffee beans will start to caramelize and will start developing all the flavors. The most difficult part is to know how, when to stop. This is because if we keep roasting, we're gonna destroy all the aromas that we already created in the coffee beans. So that's why we use a sample roaster to roast a, a tiny quantity of coffee and just taste it after to decide how is it. So now that we talk a lot about that, let's see how to roast it. Come on guys. It's really important to let the coffee beans cool down as fast as we can, just to stop the cooking process and maintain the characteristics we created. Look, it's getting yellow. I'm really sorry you cannot smell it. It smells like toasted bread. It's amazing. Did you hear that? This is the first crack. So, as we can see here, we got different kinds of roasting. For example, we have a light roast, these are medium, and then we got dark. There's not a better coffee instead of another. This is mainly because it's based on our preferences. So, for example, a light roast will be more acidic, more fruity, floral, and you can taste the origin. So, Probably this is gonna be a better coffee for a filter coffee. In this case, we have a medium roasted coffee, so we still can taste fruity notes, floral, and, well, a little of acidity. But of course, the acidity is gonna be lower than the light one. And then we get to the dark one. As you can see, all the oils started to come out. And in this case, coffee will taste well, chocolatey, but probably a little burnt as well. This is because it's roasted a little too much. Well, so, which coffee to buy? If you want a traditional Italian espresso, you can grab a dark roasted coffee. So we have a full-bodied coffee with chocolate notes. Or if you want a brighter coffee, you can decide for a medium or a light roast. But the most important thing actually is my personal advice is always to buy wool coffee beans. This is because they last longer. So you can grind at the moment and get your coffee as fresh as possible. And buying coffees then be roasted within three months. So it maintains all its characteristics at its best. Thanks for watching and see you next time. I'm gonna try this one. Don't talk about